Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny. Welcome back, finally, to yet another video. Have you noticed the room has changed? Because I sure hope you have. Because if you didn't, then my over a week long break would be kind of worth nothing. I got stabbed in the neck, just kidding, didn't actually happen. But a lot has happened since I since I last made a video. But we are finally back in business. I'm touching up the room. Just a few more details to pin down. I may even move the camera angle for videos. I don't know. But I've been busy. Um, and while I've been busy, actually, something amazing, fantastic came in the mail. Great timing, actually, while I'm reorganizing the office. And that was a very long package. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> Why is it so long? A very big package by our friends over at, over at U2's. And I believe what is in here are the Security Breach U2's figures. And also the Night Guard Daco figure, which we'll take a look at, why not? And also, she's part of the background now, but right up there, the Vanny U2's plush. We'll also take a look at that in today's video, so a lot to go over. So honestly, let's not waste any more time, let's hop right into the unboxing. If you're brand new, consider subscribing. Also, hit the like button. So here we are, with this camera angle that is not at all causing me issues behind the scenes. Nope, not at all. Let's just, let's just crack into this box. Why why don't we so here we go and i say let's kick it off with the one figure that for some reason is not in a bag the night guard doco figure lewis if you're watching i, I just say don't look into it too much buddy i i don't think they they're out to get you listen doco all i'd say man is i'm sure it's a great figure this is the back it's got a poop it drawing it looks like oh it says night guard needed look at that so he's filling out his his night guard paperwork other side, missing children, closed, ominous hand. Taking it out of the sleeve, here he is. Little night guard doco. Text, grand reopening. Backside, oh, look at that, you got Freddy in the FNAF 2 hallway. Night guard, <laughs> that's an easy enough job, you can handle it, right? Well, presumably not. As we can see, doco hiding under what looks to be a table from the from the poop it now collectors i do apologize but i will be cracking these puppies open what's that say you've made a very poor career choice that's a that's a good callback for an f2 trailer and here is the lad the man the myth himself lewis Dockos games dawkins so you got him in a night guard uniform very terrifying wearing the freddy head look at that i think that's actually just a scaled down version of the freddy figure is the backside. This is a very weird. I've never done this angle for an unboxing video, so I apologize if it's very, very weird. But here he is, little night guard doco. Uh, let's move on to the to the main the main attraction. Dare I say the reason you're all here? <laughs> Le Vanny plush. This is gonna be tough because they're so big. Actually, this plush is freaking massive. So it's it's kind of hard to get a good look at them, but they do have a lot a lot of detail, which is amazing. As you can see, they got all the stitching, the different patterns on Vanny's suit. Little pause. Actually, is that a heart on the pause? Oh, that's cute. Uh, blue ribbon, of course, classic. A tail at the back with some stitching at the back as well. As you can see, the whiskers for mine are bent in a little bit. I think that's just because of the way they were packaged. But as you can see, the other ones are perfectly fine. It's a cute little, cute little Vanny plush. All right, so now we can move on to the Glamrock animatronics. And I'd say I'm just going to unbox all these guys off camera. Then actually we can look into the figures and their boxes. I think that'll just make it a bit easier. All right, and I think what better way to kick it off than with the man, the myth, the legend himself. It's not Daco this time. It's Glamrock Freddy. So this is the front of his sleeve. And I think they're all the same, which is a little disappointing, but I think the boxes themselves are different for each character. It's just the sleeves that are not, which I guess I'm fine with if, if the boxes are different. That's, that's good enough for me. But here's Freddy. Look at him. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Third time I've said it. So on this side, looks like you've got him posing in front of some star lights. On the back, you actually have the main entrance to the Pizza Plex with the Golden Freddy statue and the elevator in the back saying fear takes hold. Looks like that's a line from the trailer. The, si uh, the stage is set. I think that's also a line from the trailer. And I do believe all the all the lines on the boxes are from are quotes from the trailer, which is a bit disappointing. Insanity prevails. No clue what's going on up here. Uh, I definitely don't think that's supposed to happen. That doesn't look right, you twos. I can only assume that's that's an error. That doesn't look right at all. Yeah, most of these quotes 
all these quotes actually have nothing to do with Freddy. So a little disappointing there. Uh, I do wish it was actually some of his voice lines that he spoke in the game. But speaking of him, here he is, the lad, Glam Rock Freddy. I do love the details on these guys, even if the boxes are, are sometimes hit or miss with the details. The figurines never disappoint. He just looks so good. He's, he's jamming out, fist in the air, microphone in hand, singing a song for everyone. Here's the back of him. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, he just looks so good. Really, really good figure. Sticking with the Glamrocks, we have Glamrock Chica. Again, the sleeve is exactly the same as the others, but this is her box. As you can see, Glamrock Chica, solid number eight jamming out on the guitar. We can get you out of here. Again, that's a Vanessa line, nothing to do with Chica. But this has everything to do with Chica. This is the bakery, I believe. You and me, together. Once again, <laughs> a Vanessa line, so this would have been much, much better on a on a Vanessa YouTube's figure, which, hey, hopefully we do get in the future. I'd love that. Opening it up, forever. That, that still doesn't look right. I do not believe Roxanne cropped out in a square. Looks like a window. Like, that does not look right. I... <laughs> I sure do hope that's only a me issue, and if that's actually what the box is supposed to look like, I would- I would love to know why. Just like Freddy though, even if the box is a bit of a disappointment, the figure definitely, definitely is not. I love- I love this pose. And as you can see, she does come with a stand, just to make sure that she can stand up, because I imagine, you know, with one foot off the ground, it would be pretty difficult for her to stand up. Yeah, this is Glamrock Chica, jamming out on the guitar, as the back. Love that pose. Love, love that pose. And again, all the details are there. The eye paint, all the detail on her outfit, like the like the earrings and the bodysuit and the um not socks, but <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I, I don't I don't freaking know what they're called. But yeah, amazing figure, as always. And I think that's gonna be a theme with these characters, is that the boxes are gonna be a bit of a disappointment. Moving on to Montgomery, by the way. But the figures themselves are fantastic. So here is Monty. Maybe we should have gone in order of numbers, but I don't think it really matters. You bring me what I want. And if you fail me, then you will. Both of you. I sure do hope it says burn on the inside of the box, because that's the end of the quote. Burn! There we go. It's still weirded out by that. I'm going to bring it up every single time, because I don't think that's right. I kind of glanced over it, but as you can see, Monty's box is themed around his area, the Monty Gator Golf Course, and it looks amazing. Love the art. And this is Montgomery Gator. Now, right off the bat, I know I, I should point it out because that's what everyone pointed out when the figure got revealed. He has technically no pants on. And also no lightning bolt on the top of his snout. And I think those are the only two nitpicks that I have for the figure. Other than that, absolutely amazing. As you can see, the detail on the tail is spectacular. I think, yeah, he even has the U2's eyes underneath his sunglasses. I don't know how well you can see it, but that detail is amazing. And once again, you know, he's jamming out on his guitar, rocking the bass guitar. Just absolutely amazing. And now we only have one figure left, and that is Roxanne Wolf. The final figure for today, Roxanne Wolf. I'll, I'll be honest, this one might be my favorite. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. Bit of a lame background for Roxanne Raceway. I feel like they definitely could have had <laughs> a cooler scenery of the actual racetrack, but whatever. Gets the point across. Here's the final side. Back to the front. It just looks amazing. And the quote on the inside, run. <laughs> Again, I feel like they definitely could have picked better quotes. But frankly, the only reason why I'm being so harsh on like the quotes and the box um, is because the figures are just, they're so good, man. And it, and it really sucks to have the boxes and kind of the pointless quotes bring down the product. Because, again, the figures themselves are insane. Like, look at the amount of detail they put on my girl Roxanne! Look at the hair at the back as well. The tail blowing in the wind. The detail on the keytar. And again, the face paint, the body, it just, it looks so, so good. And again, just like Chica, she comes with a stand. Because it looks like maybe some weight from the hair would would bring her down when she stands up but i like it that is the final figure roxanne wolf and that means that is all the figures in the security breach line that's gonna do it for the security breach u2's figures review I'm gonna do the outro on the screen because frankly i'm too lazy to go back to my other setup thank you so much for watching the fanverse u2's art 
Okay, was not expecting my camera to fall over, so I guess I will do the outro on this camera. This has been a mess of a video. I'm so, so sorry. This isn't how I wanted to come back. I forgot what I was gonna say, dude. Oh yeah, the fan vs. YouTubes are up on the site if you wanna go cop them. Actually, t Jock Ignited Freddy just sold out today. So if you missed him, I do apologize. That's that's very sad. I feel I'm sorry for you. I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. Uh, but hey, you still have a chance to get candy and pop goes while they're still on the site. So make sure you go do that. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll have a better video coming out soon. Probably a FNAF news video. Thanks for watching. See ya.